I've got some one and three quarter inch wide by three quarter inch thick strips. And I've got some one inch by uh, four and a half inch boards. I'm gonna be making three coat racks with five inch spacing in between the hooks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mortise some half inch by one inch mortises in the middle. And then I'm gonna make some cool little uh, hooks, profiles that'll drop into those slots. So I've got my blade set for one inch from the fence to the outside edge here and I'm using a little scrap block here to prevent blowout of the pieces and I'm just cutting a 1 8 deep shoulder cut all the way around um, actually on three sides I'm gonna have to make it a little bit deeper on the top side so I can add a little bit of a hook for the coats to hook onto and so I'm gonna have to take off more material once I cut the profiles which I will do last so I'm just going to cut shoulders on all three or on three sides.
So I'm just putting a bit of glue inside the mortise because I don't want it to squeeze out on the shoulder. So if I put it on the tenon and put it in there, it's just gonna all uh, go everywhere when I push the tenon in. So, you know, it's a coat rack. I'm not building a house on top of these hooks or anything. So I just put a little bead around the inside edge. Most of it comes out the back, but there's still some in there to keep it from falling out. Almost out of Hody's oil, but this stuff just stretches. It's like you only got a little bit left, and it's amazing. Like, the jar's pretty much empty, but I could probably get enough out of this rag to finish this. Well, time to bring out the hunting boots are up at the property my uh solomon boots just are not cutting it anymore they're more of a lightweight summer boot and they were getting wet last time i took them up so need somebody that can handle the mud hand wags do the trick for sure did you know that odie's oil isn't just for wood it's a great leather finish and sealer as well so i'm just gonna Buff in and coat of Odie's. Bolster up my waterproof here. And there she be. Ready for some rough west coast weather. So, one thing I'm learning here is that in the winter time, property is basically solid rock so it's essentially a creek bed in the winter time it's just water cascading out of the ground over the rock into the lake everywhere you look So, we got streams going that way, through the camp, down the path, over here. Every which way you look, there's just groundwater pouring down. So, it's a good thing I'm building up and not trying to blast in a foundation, because I would be having some major water problems if I did that. I am starting to dig some holes where I'm going to have a little... Uh, four by eight beam come off each one of these posts it's going to come off and so i have to have a little support post here so this is going to be my little uh wrap around porch so it's going to come out about five feet from the house or the house the little shed hardly <laughs> and then it's going to wrap around this side here and come out over top of this uh rock so gotta put uh, two footings right here and then that hole and then this is all solid rock right here so i think i'm gonna 
I don't know, maybe cut or scribe a beam or just place some some little, uh, got a six inch sauna tube underneath there. So I might just scribe that onto the rock to have a, another four by eight uh, support post and the, the joists can come off and sit on top of that. So a bit of groundwork to do today, but it's nice because it's not raining and I've already hit solid rock here, just about a foot, foot down. So I'm gonna drill one of these uh, hot dip galvanized threaded rods and I'll epoxy that into the rock and then I'll, I'll maybe I'm, I don't have any bigger sauna tubes. So I think I might just put some dirt around it and then fill it with concrete up to about grade and then drill a hole and drop a rock on it. Kind of like I did with all the other footings here. And then the same thing over here. I'm a little further down, but I've hit solid rock bedrock here just need to clean that up a little bit and then I'm going to fill that with concrete and then put another rock with a threaded rod coming out of it and then I can start framing my porch I'm sick of jumping off this little stump to get into the building here so it's time to create some deck space
Time to go pick up my wifey. She hasn't been out since Labor Day, so thought we'd spend a little weekend up at the cabin together. Might be driving back in the dark though, because she's stuck in traffic. Seemed to be making a habit of this. <laughs> 